Hey guys, it's Joey. In today's video, we're going to go over a full in-depth review of the project management software ClickUp. Carly and I have been using ClickUp for over a year now. You know, we use it for all of our channels and businesses. And in our opinion, it's a great platform that you could use to plan, organize, and collaborate on projects. Be sure to watch the entire video because I'll be telling you guys about all the different features on the platform, the pros and cons, pricing, and a ton of other useful information to know. If you guys are interested in checking it out for yourself, it's free to use. And yeah, we'll leave a link down in the description below. Once you guys click on that link below, you guys are gonna get taken to this website right here where you guys can enter in your email and then click on get started to make an account. Now, if I go to pricing right here, you guys can see that obviously you have the free plan and you also have four other plans depending on your business needs. Now I'll say that for the majority of you guys, the free plan is more than enough for most businesses, right? You have unlimited tasks, unlimited free plan members, two-factor authentication, and you also have access to creating five spaces and all the folders, tasks, and custom statuses that you can add. But once you start building out your entire system on ClickUp, you're probably gonna need to upgrade to at least the unlimited plan. You also have unlimited spaces that you can build. And then you also have the business plan, which is just $12 a month. And it gives you access to advanced automations. And once you guys build out a team on ClickUp, you guys are gonna see that advanced automations actually comes in handy quite a bit. But yeah, we recommend starting off with the free plan and then upgrading as you go along because features like unlimited storage and advanced automations will help out a ton with your business once you start building out a team and getting bigger and bigger. So now let's go over the pros and cons, right? So for the pros, you have one, it's free to use. Two, it's great for collaborating with teams because you can invite members, assign them, mention them, and create dashboards for team members. Three, you have lots of customization and automation capabilities, right? Like you have custom statuses, columns, and you can automate entire workspaces to set up recurring tasks and reminders for individual people on your team. And then going on to the cons, you have one, it's a little bit intimidating to learn for a beginner, right? It can be pretty difficult to onboard employees that don't know how to use the platform. And you'll probably have to redirect them to a channel like ours where they can learn how to use ClickUp for beginners. And three, they do lock some things behind a paywall, right? So if you wanna do some complex stuff like paying your contractors through track time on the platform, that would only be available through paid plans. But again, that one's probably not applicable for most beginners and most entrepreneurs that are just getting started. Okay, so to show you guys an example of a ClickUp workspace, I went ahead and built out some spaces, folders, and lists, as well as some docs in order for you guys to see what ClickUp is capable of. So right now I'm on my content calendar for my YouTube channel, but if I go ahead and go to the list settings and I go over to templates, I can browse a bunch of different templates that ClickUp offers. So pretty much same thing as Notion or Asana or Trello or all those other project management softwares. They all give a bunch of different templates that you can use for different purposes in your business. So let's say you want just a simple project management system, right? Right. This is a quick use. And you can also go ahead and filter through all the different types of templates that they have, as well as the different levels. So if you're a total beginner, you can click on this and it'll show you all the different beginner templates that you can use. So for example, they have one for personal productivity. They also have a bunch of different templates under finance and accounting. So let's say your business needs to see its expenses and reports. You guys can use this one. They also have customer onboarding as well as customer success plans. And so if I go ahead and just click on the customer onboarding and I use the template, you guys can see that it created a different list. And once I click on that, it's going to give me the entire template that's already filled out, but I can go ahead and go in and change all the different stuff in here. You guys can see that it's very, very customizable. And they also give me a ton of different views as well. So this one's for ongoing customers. This one's the intake form. And if I want to edit, then I can just go right here and change all the stuff that I need. This one's the getting started guide. This one's the onboarding process. So it gives me a board view and yeah, a bunch of different other stuff. And the cool thing is if I go back to my content calendar, I can add all of these different custom columns on the side right here. So right here, you could see that you can assign it to people, right? I'm the only one in my workspace right now, but if you have team members on your workspace, you can invite them and then assign them to the task, which will notify their ClickUp that they've been assigned. You also have due date and priority. And I also created a custom one called sponsors, right? So this one's for a YouTube channel. So right here, I have a bunch of different drop down options to choose from. I just put our names as an example, but obviously you'd put the name of the company that's sponsoring you. And if I go ahead and click on the add a column button, you guys can see that it has a bunch of other different fields that you guys can add like text. You can check the progress of subtasks. You can add emails, files, formulas, and you can even add relationships, which basically allows you to reference tasks in another list or across the workspace. Going back to when I was talking about recurring tasks right here for the due date, if I go ahead and click on the calendar, you can see right here that it has the set recurring option. And from here, it's going to ask me if I want to recur it daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or 
I can even do custom. So let's say I wanna do it once every two weeks. So I would just have to change this to two. And you guys can see that it's gonna do for every Wednesday and it's gonna skip every other week. I could change what day that it recurs and I can also change that when it's complete, when it's done or when it's on schedule, I can create a new task or I can just update the status, right? So if I want it to go from ideas to another status like scripting in progress, for example, I can go ahead and update that, which basically means that every two weeks, it's gonna update that status no matter where it is back to that scripting in progress. This is super useful if you wanna increase the efficiency of your business because it basically allows you to automate a ton of different systems within all the projects that you have. And within our ClickUp, we have a space called Hustle Club. And inside of it, I have a recurring Hustle Club newsletter task that's set to repeat every single week for our writer. And it's also set for my own task list that tells me whenever a new week starts, I need to outline what the writer is gonna talk about in that newsletter. Another thing that you can do to increase the efficiency of your business is by using the automations. So within ClickUp, you have the automate button on the top right-hand corner of every single list that you have, and you can create custom automations per list, right? So for example, this is for the content counter for YouTube. So let's say I wanna always assign these tasks to me, and let's say I always wanna add myself as a watcher as well. So basically any new task that I make, so let's say video idea number three, this one's gonna automatically assign me as well as make me a watcher. So if I go to my notifications right here and I go to assign to me, you can see that just now I've been added to idea three. Now, this is where it gets kind of complex, but again, super worth it if you want to build out systems and increase the efficiency of your business, right? So if I click on add automation right here, I can basically create if then automations, which saves me a ton of time when it comes to tasks that don't require any brain power to do. It's just time consuming. So going back to our previous example on the Hustle Club newsletter, every time that I finish outlining the next newsletter that's gonna come out, once I change the status from an idea to something that the writer has to do, it sets off this if then automation, which sends her a notification and adds it to her dashboard. So for example, on my own workspace, I can have the status to change from an active one, right? So if I wanna change it from ideas to scripting in progress, right? I can go ahead and change the assignees and add the writer on the team to the task so they know that it's now in scripting in progress so they can help me script out the video. Another thing that you can do is you can create a task, create a subtask, you can apply a template, you can add comments, right? So for example, if you wanna mention them in the comments and something that I like to do is I like to add it to a list. So in our ClickUp workspace, we have a ton of different lists built out for all the different freelancers that we have. And every time a video progresses in status, the automations that I set up basically add it to their list. That way I don't have to tell them every time that they're assigned to something. They should know automatically because it shows up as a notification on their ClickUp dashboard. So yeah, Custom columns and automations are probably the strongest point in ClickUp. It's super team and collaboration oriented. And since the time that we've moved from Notion to ClickUp, we've seen a ton of improvement with the efficiency of being able to delegate tasks automatically to our freelancers. But that's not the only thing that ClickUp is capable of, right? It's also capable of creating docs. So right here, I have YouTube SOPs right here that I created, right? So if I click on my space right here and I click on the add button, I can go ahead and add a doc, which basically allows me to write whatever I want. So let's say I just want to have a free form a brainstorming doc, right? I can just basically brainstorm anything that I want without having to have everything structured in a folder or a list. They also have a bunch of different features like whiteboard where I can create a bunch of different things like flowcharts, concept mapping, stand-up whiteboards, sticky notes, and yeah, a bunch of different other templates that allows me to pretty much start from scratch and create anything from my imagination. Inside of each task list, you also have a bunch of different views to choose from, right? So you have the list view, you also have the board view. So this is similar to Notion's board view where everything is sideways and you click and drag to change statuses. They also have the calendar view, right? So this one's pretty self-explanatory. You just add a due date and it'll sync automatically to the calendar. You have mind map, you have the table view. And if I click on add view right here, you guys can see that it has a bunch of different options as well, like Gantt, timeline, team, workload, activity, map, and more. And I can even create a chat view where anybody on the team that has access to this task list can send messages in real time. So yeah, overall, super customizable. And if you're moving from a platform like Notion, Asana, Trello, or Basecamp, then what I recommend is actually hiring a consultant and they can basically help you outline and build out your entire system on ClickUp. Now, what we don't recommend is finding the cheapest person on a platform like Upwork or Fiverr and then paying them five to $10 for a consultant 
consultation call because that's what we did to try to save money. And we ended up finding somebody that I couldn't communicate with at all and wasted a ton of time. I ended up just having to find videos online to learn ClickUp myself. But as you guys know, for entrepreneurship, time is very valuable, which makes hiring out the setup process super useful for saving your time, right? All you have to do is just hop on a consultation call with them, tell them about your specific business and what you want to do. And you can find a good one for about $50. And as long as you find somebody for a reasonable price, they should be able to help you set up your workspace in the best possible way for your business. So yeah, in conclusion, does ClickUp have its cons, but it also has a ton of pros that outweigh the cons. And I would say that it's well worth it to learn the intricacies of how the system works and spending the time to build out your entire workspace because that will ultimately save you a ton of time in the long run. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you guys are interested, again, we'll be leaving a link down in the description below. You guys can get started on ClickUp for free. And if you guys are interested in learning more about ClickUp, we also have a ton of different videos on the channel that basically give you a total beginner's guide as well as how to create content calendars if you're a content creator. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Here at StartupWise, we make a ton of how-to guides and tutorials dedicated to helping new entrepreneurs start their own business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.